Okay guys, so welcome back to another one of my uh, videos. This time it's something a little different. Um, as anyone that knows who's involved in the e-waste and come across computers and stuff like that, he's come across an awful lot of power supplies. So, um, a lot of times people will just, if you're in the e-waste, will just throw that straight into the shred and that's it. And um, the, 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 um, that's it, all they do is do that. But, Sometimes um, you may want to break it down to make a bit more cash or something, a bit of extra cash. So um, I'm going to break this one down to see what's actually in this. Because at the moment e-waste is a bit thin on the ground, so um, um, I have a lot of these lying around. So I've decided to um, break it down. So let's take all the screws out and we'll have a look inside and see what's in it. And again, a lot of time you can just cut this cables off from here, but I'm going to try and see what's inside by opening it out a bit more and hopefully um we can we can um get a bit more of the cable rather than um just break it down so let's take out these screws first So guys, um, I've removed as many of the screws as I can see uh, that are there. Um, so we'll try and get this taken apart and get a closer look inside. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will have already taken these apart, but I don't usually uh, take them apart. I usually stick more to the e-waste side of things, but seeing e-waste has kind of got a bit quieter at the moment. We'll just take this apart and have a look and see if there's anything of value. So a little bit of shred. Nothing major. There might be a few boards in here, maybe. Might be worth taking more of these apart. Um, so we'll just see. We have a few more screws in here, so we'll uh, take these out. Anywhere that I can see a screw, we're going to remove it. So I hope everyone is keeping well. I hope you're enjoying my videos. Um, I, and um, I'd like to thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel and all the people who come to my lives on a Monday night and uh, partake in the live or even if you're just only in the background and uh, you never even say a word. I appreciate you giving up your time to come in, watch, listen, um, stuff like that. I do appreciate it. I understand people are very... Uh, busy and there's a lot going on in people's lives and anyone that takes a bit of time out to to come into my life I do appreciate it and um, sometimes I may not um, catch everyone coming in or I may miss someone and not thank them so if I do I do apologize and um, that I hope you don't get offended or take it as that I'm ignoring you or something like that because I'm not 
it's just sometimes it gets a bit busy in the lives and I do miss people coming in. So we'll just try and get this board off. I wonder is that a bit of silver or is that just tin? Guys, do you think is that silver? Doesn't look like it, but could possibly. I could test it with some bleach, which I might do, and just see what happens when the bleach reacts with it. Be a bit of a fun at the end of the video. We can just check and see if it is silver or is it just a uh, thing. I couldn't see it being silver, to be honest. I couldn't see the point of putting silver on the board. Plenty of screwdrivers, but not the right one. It's always one which gives a bit of trouble. Let's see if we can get another screwdriver that may fit. I think that's too small. It is. Hmm, it's always going to be a bit of trouble, isn't that, with these screws? I'm going to have to pause it for a minute to find the right screwdriver. So I'll pause that and we'll come back once I find the right screwdriver first. Okay, so I think I have the right screwdriver now for it. Um, yeah, that's the one. So, is there anyone that scraps out um, the PCs for e-waste will always come across these um, there's always a ton of them but, so I thought it'd be interesting to see what we can get out of it seems to be mainly going to be copper stuff so we have a few uh, cable ties in under there so we cut the, the cable and free up that. Okay, so we're still stuck on something. Uh, more cable ties. So plenty of cable ties. Should we cut that? No. A little bit left on it. So, where are we stuck? One more cable tie. So, get in here. And we cut it off. Okay. So, I think we have the bulk of it. I may just need to snip a few wires or they may just disconnect. We'll have a look. Uh, the easiest way is just to cut them out. So we'll cut it back here to these transformers as fast as close as I can to it. I think it's time to invest in new snips because this one is having a few issues cutting. Definitely time for new snips. these wires as best I can with the bad snips. That's very very bad snips. So we'll just put that aside for a second and we'll have a look at the main item here. So let's have a quick look through it. So we have a few IC chips down here in the bottom um, but as you can see by not cutting the cable at the very beginning we've got a lot more cable now that I can get to so I'm going to get a good snip in a minute and we're going to snip all these off and once I have them snipped off we can get a closer look but um, and again we can have a look here but this is what I was wondering was that like a silver 
well, I don't think so. I think it's just a solder, tin solder. Uh, we'll put a little test to it in a while and we'll see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a better snips and um, we'll be back once I get the better snips. You can see a bit, little, little bit of aluminium, um, some copper, with the copper wire, a few little IC chips on the board, which you can see along here. Again, we have some more, another IC chip up here. Uh, so for e-waste, it's not much, uh, but we have a good, nice bit of copper wire. We have some copper wire along here. Um, we have some transformers in here. So again, we have some copper transformers. Again, we had another copper transformer here. So again, you can strip this down further if you wanted to get the copper out of it. Um, or you can just throw it in for its weight value into um, copper motors, I suppose. And again, we have another copper along here. Um, and um, again, we have some old, or it could be tantalums. Um, they could be the, the um, dipped tantalums. And uh, that's kind of it really on that part of the board. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip these off camera because you don't need to see me snipping them off. Everyone knows how to snip off wire at this stage. Um, so I'm going to snip off the wire and we'll just get a closer look at the board and then we'll be about to finish. So I've um, snipped off the wire. Um, so we have our insulated wire. So again, um, I can put that in with my insulated copper wire. Uh, again, there's a few of these need to be just snipped off, snip off the ends, just remove the ends off them. Um, sometimes you may find that these may have little gold connectors in them. So you just keep an eye on that in case there's anything in them. Because um, you can see they're like a little different type connection and sometimes you might be lucky and there might be a gold connector inside them but it doesn't seem to be on this one. Um, so again, that's your wire. Also have a fan, so again you can break that down take off the fins and stuff like that, so you're just left with a motor. So again, that can be put into copper bearing motors uh, for anyone that's going to the scrapyard. So we're left with the board. So what would I remove off this board? Well, I'll remove the aluminium. The, they, they'll be removed from the board. I'll take the copper. I'll take the IC chips. Uh, so there and there. Um, and again, in here, this will be removed for copper. So again, that'll be put in with copper bearing motors. And on the underside we have, looks like a lot of solder. So I'm just going to do a quick test on this um, to see if it's, I don't expect it to be silver, but we'll just do a test on it just to see. So we'll just. So as you can see, the bleach has not reacted at all with it. So if that was a um, silver, that would have straight away have tarnished into a blackish color from the um, thing. I wasn't expecting it to be silver, but it's just the way, it, when I seen it, I said I tested it anyway. So it's just something you can do. So the way to test again, as I say, if I want to just know, is if you think it's silver, just a little blob of uh, bleach will um, turn black if in the presence of silver. So, um, that's that's how you know if it's silver contacts or not that's on it or if it's silver plate and it's on something uh, you can always just test it that way I'm just having a look to see if I have anything here beside me uh, from previous scrap outs that may contain silver but I don't think I have I'm just having a quick look on a few of these connections and stuff like that um, but I don't see anything that would be silver on them so um, I can't show you the test but I've done it in previous videos so I'm sure if you look you'll be able to find a video where I've tested for silver um, on different items uh, through my list of videos so I'll just have it up through again as I say um, there's plenty of videos up there that I've done in the past some of them I will be redoing again for some of the new subscribers and some of them um, I'll just leave there that it wants is enough to do them um, but you never know I might do Few more few more repeated videos for new subscribers because sometimes it might be hard for people to find different things um in it so guys that's kind of it for the video all i want to do is see what was inside this um power supply so again you can um just strip it down again you have this bit of copper here as well that i'll be taking off and um, 
uh, off it, but that's kind of it. Um, but it would increase the value. If I threw that into shred, I'd get a couple of pins, maybe, not even. Uh, it wouldn't be worth it for the weight. So by breaking it down into the smaller components, I've increased the value. So again, with copper being on the rise at the moment, uh, it's better probably to strip it out and save it up or um, use it if you want for casting or whatever. Some people use the copper for casting or doing videos on that. Um, so that's it guys, I, I, I'd uh, again like to thank everyone for taking the time to subscribe to my channel and I really appreciate it and um, give it a thumbs up guys and share it out, feel free to share it out, check out my lives on a Monday night and hopefully we'll be back to another little e-waste video next week maybe and um, till then guys, keep safe and keep on looking for that gold, catch you on the next one.